Yeah, man. You want something to drink, boy? No, oh, man, I don't want to drink. I don't even know why you even came in the kitchen. <laughs> I guess you want to see how much, boy, you don't spit in here, boy. You like to remodel the whole kitchen, eh? It's nice, too, man. I did, but I did that with the money that I did before the deal. So. But like I say on the call before I came over here, I would like to say I'm sorry for the way I came over here yesterday, man. That was real unprofessional. I could have handled that a different way. Business. Uh, well, I just came over here, you know, that's why I call with real calm and humbleness because one thing about God, he'll make a way. He'll make a way, and the way I came was not the way. What, what was I going to get out of that? Talking about your shoestrings and all that, brother, I'm sorry. But, talking to Natasha, I just want to let you know I can sue you for <laughs> doing that deal. You can sue me. Yeah. Yes. Because. Please enlighten me. I want to enlighten. Oh, oh, enlighten, man. Enlighten. Oh, enlighten. You just like these counters in this nice old kitchen of yours. I can sue you because mm -hmm. the deal you and Rolanda did was used with some of the, my m money from my account. Rolanda was the partner in your deal, but she used the account that we have together to purchase it. So that basically makes me a piece of it anyway. But she put the money back. Yeah, but she did it in the improper way. She didn't. She didn't go through the right protocol. Google the word protocol. I've been practicing the words lately. Yeah, I know what protocol. Like, yeah, I, know what protocol I got a book out, so I'm an author now. So, I, yeah. So she didn't go the right. So what she was supposed to do is transfer the money to herself, but she purchased it out of the business account. So I didn't get so part of that business. Me. And guess who won't they peace? Me. And guess who I can sue? You. I'm trying to sound like one of the mob bosses. Do you get the picture, brother? So, I want you to let that sizzle in your spirit and know a law is broken. And a man like you, Anthony, I would think that you would know the law. Because you business, right? You should have known better, man. You should have checked to see where that money was coming from first. Because it came from our account. Oh, you are. Me and Rolandas. Because you say you look out for her, right? But deep down in your spirit, you looked out for me too. And my grandchildren. I see my grandchildren walking around with no shoes on. But they just put some good ones back on. So, get the wrinkles out your shirt. Shirt a little wrinkle. When you get the iron, you got to hit it all across the chest and everything. You try to you try to pull the shirt down, make me think it ain't wrinkled, but I know it's wrinkled. I used to do that in school too, but my shirt used to be wrinkled. I used to walk just like this right here. So what you saying, man? What so I'm saying is let that sizzle this? let that sizzle in your spirit. You think about that. We'll talk later. Come on, man. It's business. Cause we don't want to get sued. You don't want to go to court with the old country way. Huh? Come on, man. Don't make me call Big Red. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. This is my machine five heartbeat. You don't want to deal with old Eddie Kane. Come on, man. Just think about it, man. Can I get that? Think about that.